Hi, we'd like to let you join us in an experiment. You can see we have simple MEK paint thinner. We have a Taser X26 and a Carbon MPID. We'd like to illustrate how rugged the plastic is and the unibody construction is of the MPID. We'll place them both in the paint thinner, and we'll leave them in there for a little bit, and we'll show you the results after they sit in the paint thinner for a little bit. We're just leaving the, the both guns in here for only 30 seconds. It's been approximately 30 seconds. We'll take them out. As you can see, if you'd like to do a close-up, you can see the paint already coming off of the taser and the yellow tint to the, uh, the, the paint thinner in, in that. You can see also that it has been worn down. We'll let these sit for just a couple minutes, and then we'll show you how rugged the guns are. minutes and 19 seconds from original start recording time. The guns have been resting out for approximately two minutes. I'll show you nothing. Nothing on the gun. As you can see, scrape it with my fingernail, nothing. The taser, you can see, is already cracked badly, and I can scrape it right off in my fingernail. comes right off into my fingers. Look at that. Horrible construction. Police officers go out all the time into rugged areas, and you can see that the gun will fall apart. Let me see if it'll fire. Is that a live casket? No, it's no. It's See what just happened. It's not happening. I'm in a carbon. Probably gonna get that, obviously. Did you and without the cartridge? You can see that wow. it's not the you can see the plastic actually absorbs the toxic material.